you are either going to be thanking yourself or kicking yourself. One year from today, you're going to look back at the previous 365 days and you're either going to say, thank God I spent my time doing that, or you're going to say, damn, damn. I wish I spent my time doing that. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, from- sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we go. What are we talking about? You already know what the fuck going on. No cap. It go. And put us on your TV. Hey. Okay, okay. Put us on your TV. What you say? What you say? Put us on your TV. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man, man. Bring us in, man. We right back, man. What's up? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening, man? It's your. Oh, damn. I done fucked that up. My bad. My bad. My bad. (laughs) Welcome back to the episode of the podcast. That's D A E P I C E N T R E. That's the British way. In case you didn't know. You know what I'm saying? UK way. way. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, nah. A little technical difficulties, man. But the voice you're hearing right now is none other than Mr. Sir, your highness. Brother, cousin, King Brill. <laughs> All of that. And my guy to my left. Not my right. Last episode, it was on my right. That's but right. this episode is to my left, man. You know what I'm saying? My guy, the greatest co-host in the world, Mr. Girls Like Stir. Greatest in the world, man. I'm in the building. You know what's going on. I got some good drink right here, sponsored mm-hmm. by our guest. Mm-hmm. Cups up. First guest to bring us a drink. So we're going to tip to that. If you're watching this, if you're listening, pour up a little something. This is going to be a good episode. I promise you that. Yes sir. yes, sir, man. We got a legend in here, man. Yeah. One of the, In my opinion, one of the greatest... All time photographers, videographers to grace this whole region. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And you probably seen his videos. Mm-hmm. You definitely seen his. I ain't gonna say probably you seen his videos. You seen, his videos. You seen the video he was a part of, mm-hmm. or 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 you just ain't been watching TV. You mm-hmm. ain't been watching YouTube. You ain't been you ain't been tapping on your you screen. But we got him in the building, Mister Travis Bravo. Is that your first name? That's no, that's not. But you, how you know that? Ever <laughs> since I came in here today, y'all been saying stuff that people don't know. Uh, well, hey, we man. that's our job. That's, our, that's what we do. Did your home. We got questions. We mm-hmm. got we got topics. We got everything, and it's about to go down right now. You about to hear from legendary, the Photo Falcon. Bravo, you Bravo. did. Bravo. For the Falcon on Instagram, I don't know what you. Know. I didn't change my name like four times in like four years. So, so whatever you seen him as, we I'm, got him. I'm we him. got him. Hey, I'm him. <laughs> we got that guy. We got him yeah. in the building, man. You already know what it is. All right, so you know, there's been a lot of fuss around like videography and photography from a lot of people that actually do it, talking about what they prefer the Sony's, the Canons, the Nikon's, all things like that. And me personally, I'm a Sony guy, as you can see, man. I just I like the way it does for video, man. We talked about how the, the Canon Mark II, that's what a lot of people start off with and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> had your headphones on backwards. So, what is your <laughs> preferred shooting thing? You know what I mean? I'm I, know, a- I know y'all probably get some red cameras too. Mm-hmm. I'm a Sony guy all day, every day, every day. I- People ask me, what should I go get? I always say Sony, no matter what. It's 2023, go get you a Sony. Even if you can do the big boy, the red cameras. Yeah. Don't do red at all. Like I said, we was <laughs> doing Ari, which is like a quarter million dollar camera, and then jumping down to, if we're not shooting with the Ari, we're shooting with the Sony every with time. The Sony, straight Every out. time. The Sony, you get on stage with, you get backstage, you can do the meet and greet. You can shoot mm-hmm. everything with your Sony, mm-hmm. okay? And it translates the same uh, when you post it on social media. It went right. And it's strong enough. It's already 4K. You don't need nothing stronger than that nowadays. I promise you. you know, yeah. What you shooting? Fucking Avatar? Right. Like, you don't need nothing strong. He's got 10K it. cameras and shit. That shit look the exact same as a, as a 4K Sony on, uh, on I Instagram. You, I promise you. Okay, so and there's also, when you shoot, there's like different software that you can use. A lot of people, when they first starting off, if you're doing it on your phone, you might do like the phone iMovie. If you know a little bit about social media, you might be working with the CapCut. You know what I'm saying? If you're on your laptop, the first starter usually is iMovie, and then you move up to Final Cut. Some people go take that leap to Adobe, but that's that movie shit. You might got DaVinci, depending mm-hmm. on what cameras you got. What is your preferred software? You talking about post-production? Uh, I've used Final Cut before. I paid $1,500 for a DaVinci like course to learn how to use DaVinci to be licensed in DaVinci. I'm uh, licensed in DaVinci yeah. right now. I still use Premiere <laughs> every day. <laughs> What did you? What made you get DaVinci? <laughs> da Vinci? I got a license, license in DaVinci because uh, DaVinci do really good color correction. That's this small okay. like camera uh, nerd shit. No, no, they no, do really good. good color stuff. Yeah. So I got a. I'm licensed to be honest in DaVinci. Mm. Never touch DaVinci, bro. I'm coming with Premiere every every time. Time now. I like Final Cut. <sighs> I do like Final Cut. Hurt my heart right now, man. Yeah. Shout out to the, the like Premiere Pro Cut. guys There's out people there. I look up to, like Cole Bennett, who still use Final Cut to make magic. Mm. Some of your 
favorite music videos for Sean in Final Cut. So I got respect for Final Cut. Okay. But I know all the shortcuts for Premiere. Yes, okay. sir. Premiere is, gotta I got the it. Adobe up and ready. We could. Anytime. Man, every day I'm on the Adobe. That's what's I, up. I was on Adobe before I got here. <laughs> working on working on what? Can you tell us what you're working on? Um, some stuff over the weekend. Uh, I don't know if y'all know Slut. Uh, uh, yeah. Some Archie stuff. We've seen, seen the Archie. Stuff. Archie. We've seen the Archie. Stuff. Uh, looking over some old. I can't tell y'all. No, <laughs> I knew it was yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, okay, okay, well, okay, okay, well, okay, okay, okay. Off cam, off cam, off cam. Okay, we'll talk that. All right, bet. So you mentioned Cole Bennett. So uh, we, who are some of the people that you looked up to or that you look up to currently mm -hmm. when it comes to videography and photography, and why? Um, I tell all like the little cameramen that be stopping me to like you need to find somebody. I know that sounds crazy. I'm sorry, little, camer <laughs> little cameraman, out, little cameraman out there. I'm sorry, I know that sounds crazy. Uh, but when people ask me that same question, I mm. tell them you got to find somebody who you look up to, who mm. you think who motivates you to go hard. So there's people like Cole Bennett that I follow. Twenty K, I'm tapped in with him. Um, he shot a lot of Kodak stuff. Mm. Uh, shot by Spencer. He shot a lot of early mm -hmm. Kevin Gates stuff. And Dolph, um, he used to do all Dolph done. All of Dolph stuff, yeah, yeah. All of yeah, King yep. Lock. He do King Lock right now. Yeah, um, yep. you got to find somebody you think hard. So there's a few people. There's people locally. Wavy uh, make a hard club recap that mm. had me turned. Mm. Uh, OG Swavy, like I said, recently been going Shout crazy with his pictures. Who had Shout me like, boy. oh no, nah, y'all got me fucked up. Yeah, yeah, you gotta get right, man. Right, I put it. Hold on, I put it. Shut <laughs> up. So the young bulls get that inspiration. Some young bulls out here, and yeah. I like it. it. They turn me up. That's okay, what's up. You know what I mean? We back in, we back in. Y'all know how we do every time. Let's get it. So, yes, so. It go. Now that again. Now, who they got up on the park? Gotta watch and see. Pull up. Yeah. What we talking about, man? You know the vibes. Hardest pod intro in the game. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. You dig. And we sitting here with our guy, Mr. Bravo, man. Not Travis. <laughs> not <laughs> Travis Bravo. Not Travis Bravo. You could say that. Travis Bravo. If you call me Travis, that means you've been tapped in a long time. Hey, right, man, right, right, right. Man, we've been tapped in. We know what's man, going on. I did your homework. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. Funny story, man. Um, shout out to uh, Big Baby Darren Brand. Shout out to uh, Drink. What's how I've been drinking, man. They have a podcast called Last Few Hits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fire podcast, man. Fire concept. It's basically the last few hits of a blunt. They do the episode through that and... Crazy man, some of the structure of our pod, how we run through subjects, I kind of got that from them, so they helped put me on game because okay. I used to shoot for them. Yeah, but yeah, when yeah. I when they called me in to shoot for them, that was back when I had one camera, mm. one camera mm. angle, and I didn't know what the sound, I didn't know what none of that was. Right, right, know, right. I just had a camera, I knew how to shoot it, know how to color grade all that shit. Uh, so he was basically like, when you shoot, because I was just giving them the raw, the pause. Pause, Whoa. pause, pause. Crazy. I was just crazy. I pause. Yeah, that's pause, wild. Pause. Yeah, that was wild. I would just I would just color color grade it. No intro, no vibe into it. No uh no standard uh I guess like music to come into it. Yeah. I would just shoot it and that'd be the video. And then he said, Hey man, kinda make it like this. Yeah. And because I know a little bit with that post production, right? I was like, oh bet. I just okay, he threw the B roll right here, he put that, put the logo right there, mm. boom. It's all about watching and, and learning. You know and, what I'm saying? Driving and, the plane as you fly is what they call it. And I ain't know who was shooting it before, but I basically copied his whole shit and boom, 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 put it in place. Hey. Boom, and shot it like that. And the guy who whose workout was actually <laughs> finessing was Brother Bravo. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, Travis Bravo, man. So your name definitely... <laughs> This, it My boy said copy is crazy. Like, uh, well, I read copy it, stole you, it, all that. Man, <laughs> listen, I be looking at podcast clips up there. I be like, oh, they shot it with this. Dude. They shot it with the thirty yeah. million. Nah, they used that fifty on that one. Yeah, yeah, they room probably. I know this apartment complex. I know, yeah, I, know, I know you can't help but watch <laughs> music videos, TV, and be like, uh, they should have shot it like this. They should have mm -hmm. used this, or you, you know, or yeah, the other I, way. Like they did a good job using this versus either that. It motivates you, or have you saying, or they trash. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> we're not gonna say you copy. We are gonna say motivate. Motivated. Motivated. That's what. That's a good one. I was motivated. I was inspired. That's a good one. It's all good, man. Well, I got I got <laughs> questions, man. For the people out there, mm -hmm. a lot of people know that you shoot with the baby. Mm -hmm. You you've been with them since the beginning to now. What does that look like, man? I'm like I know it's a, a sort of open ended question, but like from the beginning to where you are now, how did that happen? Like what what was the like. The thought process. What do you think it now? Because I know every day is probably he, he's a creative guy. He's I don't know if I creative. told the the camera I was on tour during the Kirk tour. Mm, okay. I did the merchandise. What? 
Yeah, I did all the merchandise. I, was, I don't know if I we, was on that tour. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know how we yeah, ran into, but I was yeah, more man. with uh, with Arnold Taylor's nephew, Davion. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we was doing straight merchandise. So we was going to the shows, and I was probably that's why I was outside mm-hmm. of the venue. Well, it, you know, the out, not the outside, like outside, outside, but merch like outside spot. the door. Yeah, we right yeah. there where the merch is at, doing that type of stuff. And then when the show would come on, I go in there and watch. But we was doing stuff like that, doing the merchandise side. So what does it look like from where you at, like tour life, like uh, traveling, um, you know, storyboarding ideas, that type of thing, getting those? Because my big thing, I was a big fan of it, still am. I was a huge fan when he first came out because every show it was content right after the show, mm-hmm. content, mm-hmm. content, content. All the time So you had no choice It was in your face You had to mm-hmm. see What he was doing At the shows What did that look like on, on your end of things As far as like The production And being like The curator Of what, what, was, what we were seeing I'm gonna be honest Like I'm fortunate Cause I linked up With Baby early mm-hmm. And he's like For like A videographer Or photographer He's like the Perfect subject mm-hmm. Cause mm-hmm. Baby gonna turn up Right He gonna give you What you need I've told other artists I ain't gonna say their name I mm-hmm. told other artists I work with Like you gotta you got to work the camera. Right? Mm. And I've never had that issue with Baby. Baby had ideas. Mm. Baby knew where the camera was going to be at. Mm. He knew what I need to say. Right. So he really made our job Make easy. Make your job easy. Yeah, it, was a, it was a crew of us. It was me. It was my brother, Gemini. Uh, yeah, yeah, Rico's Jim, been yeah, around. Yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, Gemini, that my, that's my yeah. evil twin. Ah, yeah, that's yeah. my evil twin. Yeah, Jimbo, uh, Rico, Spicy, mm-hmm. Real Goats. Um, but yeah, no, shooting baby from start to finish has always been the same. He just cared about the shot. Like, mm. no, nothing else matter. Mm-hmm. We've been in shows where it was two people. We've been in shows when it was 20,000 people, right. 60,000. Yeah. Like, it's always just about the shot. Right. So I learned a lot from him. I learned a lot from doing that with him. I learned a lot from people who was around, Rico, Spicy. I would tell anybody, just get your shot. Yeah. That's what I matter. That's facts. And people don't know, man, it's, it's a lot of times when you filming. Cause as, like as a YouTuber, I kind of had to be. That's how I learned this stuff. I had to be the subject and the videographer. So mm-hmm. it, you kind of got to learn everything at the same time. You could feel kind of corny, bro, doing certain stuff because you doing shit for the look, right? Oh, we got to reshoot that. Damn, I got to redo everything. And you you got to recreate the energy. And sometimes yeah. we running around. You kind of got to overdo it, yeah, in person, yeah. So you can go back and edit what you need because exactly. you can't. You rather have more, yeah. You know what I'm saying than than less when you when you in the editing phase. You want to have more content. Mm-hmm. Like I'd rather you be overly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like with the camera, I'd rather you mm-hmm. be more into it. So when I edit. I can. I got some stuff to work with. You know and I don't saying? mean to cut you off. Like, I've, I've always said, like, don't care about what other people here are looking at. Right. More people are going to see you post this mm-hmm. than the people in the video. Mm. There That's could be, fact. There wow. could be 60,000 people in the video. If mm. you post this, more people. You more people than that. More see people can see it. See That's it. true. Don't worry about what's going on around you. Yeah. Always work your camera. Again. Work, work your look. That's, That's true. Cool. That, yeah, yeah, hit that. We getting a yeah. whole bunch of whole bunch of gems in here because I was just thinking that too. I was uh, out shooting some pictures with my girl. She was like, I don't like if people be looking. I was like, look, nobody even gonna remember this that you was out here. <laughs> no you facts. know, we had the bar, so the bar. It's gonna pack. be two people that come home to their spouse like, yo, what's this weird girl in there? <laughs> but nobody really remembers that stuff. So that's nobody. what I keep in mind. Like when I'm shooting or I'm out doing something and it look crazy. I'm outside and you drive by, you probably see me doing this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, like I'm talking, hey, but gang. nobody remembers that don't stuff. Don't worry. Nobody about remember. It. Then you see the don't video, and it all comes. I saw you on the side of the street doing it. But that's you know. And then when you put it all together, when you wrap it in a nice bow, and right. it come out looking like a, a a fully done production, that's the part that matters. The actual own, like nobody really care. Nobody they see it, they gonna say something. Nobody remembers that when they go home. Though that's what I always keep in mind when I'm shooting, or if I'm the own camera subject too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just right. keeping that in mind. And I got a question, man, because a lot of times with a. Uh, Especially at a high level, photographers, videographers, when you love being behind the camera, mm. there's sometimes where uh, you do so much for other people. You capture mm. so much of other people's vision and what they want. Sometimes they don't even have a vision. You got to create a you vision create for what the they got thing. going on. Right. You know what I mean? So uh, t- tell us, what, give us some of the insight, or if you have any like personal projects, what are some things that you shot for yourself that you may have not released to the world, but just <sighs> in your own city? I've got some projects I put on myself, but to be honest, lately I've been so locked in. I care more about turning my client up. Mm, Like I used to care about my projects a lot, Mm -hmm. but lately, like I'd rather see the growth that me and you create with us locked in in over like six months, 12 Mm -hmm. months, what we could do together than my own little thing. Like right now I'm super locked in with Archie. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know you know Archie. Yeah, yeah, that's special. I'm super locked in with Archie right now. Right. Me and Archie, we on the same page. I know. I've been back in the city. I care more about that right now 
did my own projects. My projects, yeah. I can do that whenever. I can yeah, shoot a camera. Facts. I know how to shoot a camera. Facts. <laughs> I can do that whenever. Yeah. Right. I'd uh-huh. rather see somebody else in the city mm. turn up, and I like getting credit for like, yeah, you help him turn up. Right. Like, that's what turned me up. That's and the Martin Baines, uh, you know, recaps that come mm-hmm. out. Like you said, more people that's in there. Are more people that seeing it than the people that's in there. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And that's what I always tell people: uh, seeing is believing. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. once they see, you can talk about arm bangs all all day till you blue in the face. But when you come out and you actually there, or if you see a recap made by you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? When you put it together and you put the best parts, you know what I'm saying? You really almost like audio ain't mixing and mastering. You putting together the pieces and then you make that video and people see it. That's like that's something I want to go to based only, off what you create. Only pretty girls get on camera, man. Only. <laughs> Hey, on oh, Wednesdays, hey, I'm glad you said that. Oh, for you me. about to have some girls. Oh, yeah, Wednesdays, right. only pretty girls get on camera. Archie, you know what's up? They said hey, it. Hey, <laughs> hey now, Archie, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey. but like some people, particular about what mm. goes out content wise, you know what I'm saying? And you got to make the magic. You got to make I'll shoot you, baby girl. You might not make the final cut. Woo! Might not make the final cut. (laughs) What's going to be some girls mad for? Oh, Adobe. You might not make the final cut. I'm sorry. You a star. You a star, baby. But not on camera. (laughs) Not not on camera. That's what's up, though. What's your your favorite part about about shooting uh, R and bands when you you out there? When you shooting uh, Archie footage? What do you think? I'm just asking. I'm, oh, I'm I ain't answer. gonna say that. I'm, I'm answer. I'm Only answer pretty you. girls get <laughs> on think? camera. I love say it. no when, more. Wednesdays is my favorite day of the week right now. Now say that I'm no back in the city, because you know I was gone for a long time. So right. Now I'm okay. back in the city. Yeah. And I'm here trying to turn up. Yeah. Wednesdays is my favorite day of the week. Say that. So okay. You know, I know what come with Archie. No, hey, <laughs> I come there shoot it every week. Dude. Yeah, 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 just there. Yeah. Schedule clear it. Yeah. Hey, listen, I ain't got nothing to do. You want to get the after footage? You I get to let out too. Some, right, I get right, right. Out. I'm here. <laughs> hey, I'm but so you said something about uh, now that you're back. Mm-hmm. So tell us when you were away. What was what the projects yeah. were you working on? How was that being outside of Charlotte? Are there different locations you like shooting? Or how was that? When I was gone, I had to tell all my Charlotte clients. I mean, I'm with Baby. They all, most of them respected it, though. Like, I'm with okay. Baby, so we we might be in L.A. one day. We might be in Dubai. Mm. We might be in Canada. We might be in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. We might be in Tijuana. I got other stuff I'm working on. I'm his everyday photographer, me okay. and another crew. Um, Shout out Joda, too. That's my young boy. That's yeah, my boy. JoJo? That's my boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, jo- yeah boy. JoJo been in right now going crazy. Yeah, Charles, JoJo, he did JoJo. some stuff for my brand. That, we've been locked in for a long JoJo time. That's my boy. Hard. Yeah, JoJo hard. hard. Yeah, he's another, another member of the team. Uh, yeah, but when we gone, we just locked in whatever baby got going on. Mm-hmm. Baby might be with 50 Cent one day. He might shoot a music video the next day. You just got to be able to adapt. Right. Some of the clips that I see you post, the photos, man, it's actually in the studio. So mm-hmm. you're actually seeing a lot of the magic get cooked up in the early stages when it might not yeah, be yeah. magic already. Right. It might mm-hmm. be, you know, an idea that they're working on that's not finished. It might be this, but then you see it. You know, two yeah, weeks later when they shooting the video, you getting that behind the scenes footage. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you get to see the kind of the whole process of it. So tell us what has been like your favorite studio session moment that you might have caught on cam mm-hmm. or not caught on cam or that you can say on cam. Or maybe that you can't say on cam and we gotta edit yeah, this a lot. Yeah, yeah. Hey, check this out. There's a lot <laughs> of Any stuff. Any name drops that you There's a lot got? of stuff I can't say on camera. But <laughs> I shot I've been in studio sessions with Kanye, fifty. Ooh, you started off right. Game. Damn. <laughs> Migos, everybody, like literally every uh, DJ Khaled, we the best. And I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> yeah. like I said, being locked in with bruh, mm-hmm. I was fortunate to be in rooms that normally you'll never be in. So where I met Snoop Dogg, I'm in a Snoop Dogg studio. I didn't mean crazy. Every, studio, you seen you lit. seen the studio, his studio, yes, the GGN been, shit. His, yeah, I've been. That's in his how, how does that how does that look, man? How does <sighs> it's fire? It's, I mean, it's fire, gang. Okay? Like, Straight like, up. Hey, right. but like I said, it turned you up, and I'm fortunate mm-hmm. to have been a part. A baby history, a other people's history, a panther history. Mm-hmm. I just try to lock in. But yeah, I've been everywhere. I've seen everybody shoot. I've seen, like I said, Migos, everybody. Everybody. Mm-hmm. Fabio Foreign. I was with Stunner for a long Fivey. time. You shout, shout out Stunner. Yeah, yeah. I was with Stunner for a long time. You know, it just. Eh. So, who, what was your favorite? Uh, my favorite. What was your favorite? Mm-hmm. My session, favorite. your favorite experience. I mean, I know that's hard because I looked at yeah, your page, hard. you know, like you said. I'm going to be honest. This is going to sound crazy. Okay. The song never came out. That's always the best ones. What you got? Bruh had a studio session with Bobby Smarter. Mm, his I energy is out the roof. I know that was a crazy Him ass and all his niggas' energy is out the roof. So that was cool. That was dope. <laughs> Being yeah. with Ye is dope. But like I said, certain stuff that people will never see, like that Bobby right. Smarter song, ain't never going to come out. Mm. Like it was just good to be there in the room, feel yeah. the energy, get some shots. Right. Thanks. 
Damn. But to be honest, I couldn't give y'all one. I've I've been around everybody. For a while, it turns into work. You feel me? So right. you stop True. enjoying it as much because it's just my job. I'm used to just being with nice. brushed, seeing people. So who was Beat the who was the starstruck situation with the, the, the first starstruck? Because I understand baby when as he keep going, but you see, if you've been with baby since the beginning, you yeah. kind of see him a little bit closer. For right. me, my, yeah, my first starstruck. Yeah, I, mean, I kept it super P. You gotta you know keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> keep doing too much. I kept it super P. But to be honest, when we was on set with Wayne, that was big for me personally. Ooh. Oh, was was that for the uh, lonely? The, yeah, lonely. The shit where they in the uh, psych ward. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. We shot that. We shot that two days. Yeah, for me personally, being on set with Wayne growing up, like right. that was my, that was yeah. my goat. Right. So being on set and being, I was first AD. Shout out to Baby for letting me be first AD. I was first yeah, AD hard. on that shoot. That's so I had it like direct. It was dope. Super dope. What that's was dope about it? I mean, I, I, we just trying to delve into Niggas, it. Niggas, that's his Wayne. It's Niggas, Wayne. What you mean? What was dope? Niggas, hands shaking. <laughs> Bravo, get the shot, man. Listen, hey, man. This is Wayne, hey, bro. This, this is Wayne. This get is the gimbal. Get the gimbal. Get the gimbal. Oh, I was in <laughs> high school playing this every day right. in the hallway. Like, this Wayne. He Damn. right here. Right. Asking me what we supposed to do next. Wow. That was big for me. Even That's my mama up. was like, oh, I saw you with Lil Wayne today. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, it was dope. That parent approval is different, too. What's your, what's your pops? Man? We talked about Papa Bravo. Yeah. That he put you on. What, what's, he, what's he thinking now? Like, what's he like? But I told you, pick that camera. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, yeah same old shit, yeah. yeah. I told you you was up to no good. Right. And now look what you did. Right. You got something going. I'm out there. That's what's up. Hey, it's like, so you got Papa Bravo, LeVar Ball. Who <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got, the Yeah, stereo you know pop, 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 pop. Yeah, man. We, hey. yeah, nah, but listen, I can't Shout out my daddy if I shout out my mama. She gonna oh, be mad. Facts, facts, facts. Let's, mama, let's go ahead I, I and get moms on there. Shout out my daddy if I shout out my mama. Hey, mom. <laughs> We love you. Hey, shout out to the mothers out there. Hey, Sorry, mom. It be like that. But now that's what's up. The little Wayne. That's your big. That's Wayne, your, your most. Yeah, yeah, was Christ. different. Ye I want to hear about that a little bit because that, 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 that you could expect. What? What? When was? When was Wayne? I mean, not Wayne, but yeah, that that's important too. When was it? And how? Which yeah did you get? <laughs> when he was working on Donda, oh, he was in that, mm. he was in that mode. Yeah, he was, Wisconsin? But it was in Wisconsin. Nah, we was oh, in when he was in he Atlanta was in doing LA. the. LA. Nah, oh, okay. I think it was Donda too. Oh, okay, he had. I think he had Baby on both. But the mm-hmm. session I was in, it was one of the Donnas. We was in LA, and like the next day he was performing. You know, he was doing listening sessions right. in Chicago. Mm. The very yep, next yep. day, so after Baby dropped his verse, like the very next day, we flew to Chicago. It was in Soldier Field for the listening session. Shit, baby, rip that verse too. Yeah. Guess who's yeah, going yeah. to jail tonight? Yeah, right. Yeah, that same. <laughs> Guess who's going same to jail shit. tonight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look crazy. Okay. Jesus, man. I be wondering. How, I mean, yeah, he's an interesting guy. Depending on what day you meet that nigga, like he's just gonna be a different, a but different as, dude. As a creative, he turned you up. Yeah, like, I don't sound imagine. crazy to everybody. Oh no, nah, I'm 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 hip. You, I ain't yeah. even into the crazy. Shit. I know that nigga's who, a creative dog. You, to think outside the box, right? Mm-hmm. That nigga know something. Right. Like, yeah, he is no like, boxer. He already, like, he passed the box. You know what I'm saying? That's why people be trying to keep him in. I feel like that's why he do what he do. You know what I'm saying? So many people try to keep them in this square. But, like, if you don't test those boundaries, you never know what it's going to look like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I nah. feel like he the king of that. Not to mention, boundaries. not to mention, since the beginning of his career, like, I'm at, that's why I feel like he might be go off cuff. Or he might see, uh, give people the impression he going off cuff, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, when he first got started in the career, and I, and I noticed because I watched that doc, now I'm pretty sure oh, yeah, I watched. watched you know, a lot of his biggest ideas, his best songs, people told him not to do that shit. Even yeah. to rap, people told him not to do that shit. Right. So imagine your first big four or five outlandish ideas. People told you don't do it. Yeah. And then you work and they're some of the reasons why you're this world-renowned producer or rapper. So the next couple ideas that might be off cuff, you're going to do that shit. Yeah. Don't do fashion. What are you doing? Just rap. And then you do that shit and then easy is where it is. So the, whenever he probably has a crazy idea, he brings it up. Oh, now everybody likes it. Nah, that's not the one. That's not the one. <laughs> not oh, everybody hates this shit. Yes, might be the one. That's the one. We need that. I ain't gonna say too much because I don't want to get in trouble. But right. even in them sessions where Ye was the Ye, y'all all see. Yeah, he was on ten. Yeah, yeah. ten. Because he is passionate to him. Right, like, right, I right. I really care about that's this. Fact, like, right. it, like, like you said, people told me not to do this. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm gonna do this shit. I don't care do what it. y'all talking about. Right. I'm on that. <laughs> and I was fortunate where he had baby there. We was in LA. It was turned. I, I, I fuck with Ye. Ye hard as a creative. As somebody who's great, son, mm-hmm. yeah, he were he motivator. That's mm. fine. So let's uh, let's shift let's shift gears a little bit. We can put some more pressure on Bravo, Say man. That. Put some more pressure on Bravo. So, like I said, you've been in some fire studio sessions, man. You've been around a lot of fire music from the conception to the release to the video shoot mm-hmm. to the tour. Yeah, tell us what is your favorite album 
right now? What music has Bravo turned? What music is Bravo edited into when you don't got to match up sounds and shit? You know what I mm. mean? Um, okay. trying to think what you was listening to when you pulled up. I couldn't remember. Okay, I got to say Baby first, and then I got to mm-hmm. say Money Only Mo because those family. But uh-huh. besides those two, who I be playing? I've been playing a lot of Doughboy lately. Mm, Doughboy okay. new tape hard. Okay, I play Dirk. I playing young boy. I've been playing a lot of dope boy though. Mm. To be honest. When I pulled I up just now, yeah, I was, I was probably playing dope boy. <laughs> okay, dope boy tape hard. That's but fine. I play. I'll be playing Tory Lanez one day. I'll Honey. play Afrobeat. Going to Nigeria put me down on Afrobeat. Mm. So I, play I was gonna ask about that when y'all went down there and y'all did that whole uh, shoot. Yeah, and yeah, y'all walking the through the city like y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah with Devito. Yeah, with Devito. Tell us about that. Like, what? Who came up with going out there? Like the whole? Just give us everything, man. Because from people. The viewers don't know nothing about it. They Thanks. never seen it. Talk about it from start as to finish. Much, as much as I know, that was between Devito and Baby, and okay. it was like we we want to go to Africa. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go to Africa to shoot it. It took us like a year to get there. We ended up going to Africa, and Devito had a red carpet out for niggas, and it was mm. turn. It was it was. I love Nigeria. I'm about to say, I would never go. I would never go back without Devito and Baby. And yeah, that's, right. a, that's a different. That's a whole different experience, man. What? That's yeah. a whole different that experience without it. That, Nigeria, man. <laughs> but, but yeah, I had fun. I had a great time in Nigeria. How great long was y'all time. out there? Like a week. Okay. Like yeah, maybe like five days. We went out there, shot a video. We linked up with day people. We linked up with some cameramen out there. Hey, like you said, we was walking through the trenches. Yeah. With mm. a with a RE camera, like play the song. Let's turn up. Sheesh. Yeah. With yeah. the quarter million, John. Yeah, in, Ni- hey, in Nigeria. In Nigeria, it's Nigeria. different. Nigeria, right, different. right. So, so we talking about you know foreign countries and whatnot, man. Uh, talk about Saint Kitts, man. If I, what you, man? Don't y'all you, did your. <laughs> y'all, let's talk about Saint Kitts, man. That crazy. Damn. We tapped in, man. That hey. wild. All right, so I'm Caribbean. Most people don't even know this. I don't know how you know this. Hey, man, listen, man. We. Y'all, I got to talk to you with the camera. <laughs> hey, crazy. we know some Our people, Instagram man. a little different. We, we, know some people, we look at Instagram I, I a little like different. It here. Yeah. I like it here. But no, I'm Caribbean, and that's the St. Kiss Nevis flag. So, mm. yeah, I went there when I was in high school. That's where my daddy from. That's my whole side of my daddy from. That's where all my uncles, aunts. Mm. And, yeah, that's just a little little itty-bitty mm-hmm. island in the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah, I got to re- represent. You said you went back in high school for how long? How was that experience for you? <laughs> to be honest, uh, I went there for a funeral, so I was only there for like mm. three days. But to be able to go back was big. Yeah, you feel me? It was big to be able to feel where you really from. Where you know you from, right? Mm-hmm. You got uncles who was here, mm-hmm. aunts who was here. Your grandparents grew up and lived here. It was dope. That's crazy. You even said that. Yeah, man. actually, Maybe, hey, man. Put all we, that what else you know? What you know? What else you got in your phone? We know a lot, Travis. Man, we, we know a lot. Travis. <laughs> yeah, crazy. I like it here. Hey, yeah, man. yeah, I like we, it here. We do a lot, but it, is it a? Uh, when you grew up, was the Caribbean culture a part of you, or were you more so Americanized? You know what I'm saying? I was Americanized, but okay. as a kid, it's like you keep seeing this flag in your house, mm. and it's like you want to ask your daddy. You feel me? I was intrigued, especially when I was a kid, because you want to know where you from. Right. You feel me? So after I went there, it was dope. It was cool. Mm. But nah, I've been all over the world. Like I would love to go back, but because of work, I'm all over the place. Thanks. I mean, My what, favorite what, island. I was just about to Turks. ask you, what's your favorite? Probably right Turks. My Turks. daddy, my daddy and Turks case me said it, but yeah, I oh, love Turks. Man. <laughs> mm. daddy, mayor, I love Turks. Turks is great. Go there with a little shorty. That's, Ooh, that's, that's where shorty everybody shorty. go. That's, that's where everybody go. That's what I was gonna ask you. What's, what's, where should we go? Where should from we a well traveled guy? You, you got a passport? Yeah, I just got it. Go to Turks. Go to Mexico. What? Well, well, where in Mexico though? We stay in an all inclusive resort. Just yes, stay right there. We got Cabo, <laughs> Tulum. We got yeah, uh, Cancun. I went, where you? I went to Cabo, and I want to go to Tulum. I keep going to Cabo. Mm. But to be all the way honest with y'all, don't tell nobody I told y'all this. Don't tell nobody. Even though the camera. <laughs> don't. You don't need your passport. Go to Hawaii, bro. Mm. I had the best time in Hawaii. I heard the flight oh, long. Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, it's Hawaii. Long Hawaii. Long hey, moment, Listen. The, what you, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You cannot. Right, shout you out Kanye. Cannot. What you want that? <laughs> what, yeah, that so so if, you, if y'all don't know, man, y'all ain't looked it up. Y'all ain't tried to plan a flight. Bravo was out here getting money, man. Hawaii is not a cheap. <laughs> don't get it twisted. About go to Hawaii. Don't get it twisted. Mexico and all this stuff is cute. Hawaii is a different trip. Hey, <laughs> that's, hey, that's a different. I was trip. paid to go to Hawaii. I didn't pay for that. Ooh, hey, Drop that. Bravo was getting money. Drop both both times. I didn't pay to go to Hawaii. And that's, that's the best trip. <laughs> well, that's a long ass flight. Pay, yeah, yes. Yeah, but yeah, but, heard but that. to be yeah. honest, it's beautiful out there. It's a vibe. You go out there with mm-hmm. shorty. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I tell all my little my homies, my little, go mm. to Hawaii. Go to Hawaii. You don't need no passport. You just need that flight money. Right. Yeah. But Hawaii vibe. 
that's yeah. that's fire. So what is that your favorite place to shoot or your favorite thing to shoot? Because I know some mm-hmm. photographers get into nature and they type the sunrise type shit. Yeah, what nah. is your favorite thing to shoot? It changed every week. Give, give, it well, what, what was it last week? Last week. R&B Wednesdays was last week. <laughs> hey, outside of this Wednesday. Week, right. um, Wednesday. This week, I shot. <laughs> I shoot for some of the Panthers, so I shoot like they, they workouts. I was about to say, what do you shoot? You shoot like they day-to-day type of thing? or you I've shoot? done that. Lately, it's just been workouts, but I've it's done workouts. day-to-day. I've done family stuff. Yeah. Mm. I've done, well, just you just in the gym. Yeah. I've done. I don't know if you know Miles Dorn. He just got uh, drafted from the Vikings. Uh, yeah. Torrin's brother. I don't know if you mm-hmm. know Torrin. Mm-hmm. He playing for them now, too. Yeah, so I ain't been on the sideline in like three years, but the sideline was cool. Shooting athletes is cool. I just shot, like I said, from everything from the baby and Kanye to your baby mama. I shot everything. Everything. Right. I'm trying everything. to think who is Shorty that does it. Is it Nail, Nails? Her name? Nails. Who that? Nails. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'll be knowing shit, man. Never mind. Shit. Nigga my, know a lot. Shout out, yeah, to, yeah, shout yeah. out to Rondo, man. My boy Rondo just uh, helped nails out. I think that's her name. Okay. Think, uh, forgive me if I don't, but tell me. So, what's the experience like in? Uh, like sporting events, man. We know we know the uh, the FPS. We know we, that changes and stuff. But yeah. what is the energy like when it's a close game? or you catching that sideline shot? How how is that different from maybe a tour that's crazy or rolling loud? Rolling loud. Okay, let's say this. Rolling loud. I didn't did several of them with baby, so mm-hmm. I know the the set list. I know what song coming after which song. So I already know his performance. Okay. So I know when I need to be on stage. I know when I need to be in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Right. That I can already know before I even step out there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Football game, a little different. It might come right. down to the last drive. Ooh. And me being a huge football fan, it's like, I, I love shooting football. Uh, I really like shooting football. Man. Mm-hmm. See, I love this. Your, your answers are real precise. I was thinking how he's going to answer that, but that is, that's a good description because, like you said, a set list, we all sort of kind of been on some type of set. It is mm-hmm. predictable. There are some things that might pop up. Baby might do something unexpected. Yeah, he might do something. Day, but, but generally, you're yeah. going to go as the set list says. As the manager says, it's a time frame. You only got this amount of time on stage. A football game could go into overtime. Mm-hmm. A football game, somebody could pop a knee. Like, anything could happen. Or You know what I'm saying? A good thing. Like, anything could happen. When you build a relationship with, like, an artist, I already know when Baby going to be on stage. Right. I know mm-hmm. when he won't going to be on this side of the stage. He going to be on that side. Right. That's right. Like you said, that's predictable. But yeah, a football mm-hmm. game, boy... You just gotta be ready. To, gotta be ready. What that's you when that Sony well, comes. Hey, what you think gonna happen? That's when that Sony <laughs> coming here. Let you me. Let's do. I mean, how, uh, do you shoot most of the sideline or you do end zone at all? When I was doing side, when I was doing football, I was on the whole field. I was doing sideline. I was doing end zone when I thought a touchdown was coming. Great. Mm-hmm. Let me ask this question then. That, uh-huh. I, that was a build up. Gotcha. Ha 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 So what you got? It's a they on the let's say they on their forty yard line right. Boom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is, let's say, 2015. I'm going to make it theatrical. This is Cam Newton. Yeah. Okay. He, I was he, there that He was bombing Ooh, that man. bitch. And you see Ted Ginn. Okay, I was there. Ted Ginn hitting that 43. <laughs> <laughs> the ball is in the air. Now, you notice, okay, well, they running out of field. This, this, this one getting close to the end zone. And you sitting there. You got the camera. <laughs> you on the edge of the end zone. And you saying, oh, well, this ball look like it's headed towards me. <laughs> and you are you going to stand in there and take the charge for the shot? Game. Or you gonna move out? <laughs> you gonna move out the way? Because I like y'all. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I pushed the ref into the player so bad <laughs> one game. What? The play, the play is big. I don't know if y'all seen. Me. I don't know if y'all can tell on the camera. I'm not big. Yeah. Man. So them players is big. Yeah. yeah. Like you just said, uh-huh. you in the end zone, ball in the air, player coming. <laughs> you know what's going on. You know what's for the come. Oh man, shit! Man, listen. Somebody gotta do, take the L. I'm gonna <laughs> do my best. But I'm not finna get hit. Bro. Right. Not right. do that. <laughs> <laughs> the camera watch back here. Yeah, watch out! <laughs> watch out! <laughs> camera way out of out of reach. Hey, but that's yeah. how you can tell which photographers know football, which ones don't. Right. Some are just really good at the picture. Some just know ISO. Mm-hmm. They just know shutter speeds. They know how to catch a camera. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, some photographers really know football, so I already know what they probably going to do. They're probably not going to run right now. Mm. They're probably going to throw it to the corner. So mm. I'm going to try to go ahead and get my shot. Already be there. It already be there. And be there. Smart mm. man. Smart man. Yeah, smart. Y'all getting a lot of gems right here. We didn't get, gave y'all sports photography, tour life, and artist photography, and videography. <sighs> what can, what, bravo, what can you ask for, man? <sighs> Let, so, okay, let's give, let's give like, tactical tips, right? Mm-hmm. But you said that we had one. You find a mentor, find somebody that you need to follow, look up to, look at their mm-hmm. word, they inspire you. Yeah. What other like tactical like okay I can do this right now if I'm an upcoming photographer videographer anything dealing with a camera 
what advice would you give them to get to the next level to you, one day be a Bravo? YouTube Academy. YouTube Academy. Mm, YouTube. Doc, yeah. YouTube, YouTube University. Academy. University of YouTube. University. Okay. You get your degree. You, it's 2023. <laughs> there's a video about whatever you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Somebody's already showing you it. On the, there's a couple videos. Let mm. me tell you, you gonna be that video now. Yeah, this, fact. This, hey, this, so this, this is gonna be that. Nah. <laughs> like I'm saying this is gonna be the video for a lot of people just to go through and see. You know, what I'm mm -hmm. saying what you did mm -hmm. as far as like what to do. So I mean, like you said, YouTube. Uh, uh, I always tactical Google. tips because you. I know people run up to you all the time. Not to cut you off, people run up to you all the time and ask you, "Yeah, what I need to do." Mm -hmm. So in a couple, you know, what I'm saying if you got a couple things, what, what would you tell them? Because then you could just send them this clip. Be like, I already said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if y'all try to if y'all try to be me in three steps, this is what you do. <laughs> three steps. This is the Bravo starter <laughs> pack. Steps, this is what you do. Get on YouTube, shoot everything, and always be yourself. Because mm. a client gonna try to steer you a direction. But as the artist, you got to always know what, like, your look. Right. So don't ever, somebody might not like you this week. Somebody else is going to love what you're doing. Mm. I tell everybody that. Go to YouTube. Learn as much as you can. There's no, you don't got to go to school. That's cat. I went to school. And I'm telling you, that's cat. You go on YouTube right now. You shoot everything you can starting off. Shoot everything. I don't care if it's a, if it's a maternity shoot, if it's an artist, if it's a club. Let people know that I take shooting. pictures, right? That this is, mm -hmm. you need a cameraman? You, need, you should call me. Right. And then you can work up your number later on. And then, yeah, just turn up, bro. Just turn up. Mm -hmm. Do you. What we giving? Too much That's fire, man. man. We got to we we go on break. Yeah, we're going to go on break after that, man. We're going to go out. on break, man. Time out, man. Time out. Ah, see. <laughs> now we back. Hey, it go. DJ Sterl and done it again. Now who no they got up on the pod? Bravo. Put this on your TV. Hey. What you say? What do you say? Chavi Porter. You know the vibe. You know the vibe. I got one question before we even jump. Jump into it. Where yeah. Bravo came from? The name Bravo. Word. Yeah. That's made that shit up, guy. That's not your last name. Keep talking about Travis Bravo. Them two names I made up when I started. This going nigga, to man. Yo, <laughs> check this out. When I started going to the Art Institute, right? <laughs> the Art Institute, but uh, back to the Art Institute. Right. I ain't know. I ain't gonna go by my real name, Kyrie. For those who know. Mm. But nah, I oh, was God. like, I need to think of something, and I thought about. No cap, please don't laugh at me. <laughs> I thought about Travis Scott because I played a lot of Travis Scott back then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I thought about Johnny Bravo. Johnny real <laughs> nigga. <laughs> real hey, hey, them Johnny real cartoons. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> That's back when <laughs> cartoons were cartoons. Right. Facts. And I put them bitches together and it stuck with Dennis. Niggas was like Travis Bravo. Niggas ah. started calling me Travis Bravo. I didn't even know. Damn. So it's like, oh yeah, keep running with that. I had to ask that. I had to ask that. Some bullshit I made up. Honey. In the, in the crib it, smoking. And yeah, shit stuck. Yeah. And shit Haters. stuck. Damn. I thought you might have went on uh, randomnamegenerator.com. It's funny. You know? I, shot, I shot a, I shot a, uh, a bottle girl the other day, and she was like, your name not Travis? Like, no, nigga. <laughs> my name ain't Travis. What you mean? My whole life is a lie. What you right, mean? Right. Name Travis. <laughs> Everything is a lie. <laughs> no facts. That's crazy. Jeez, man. Jeez, man. So it, this Literally. has been such a fire interview. So much so much game in this, man. Yeah. Please get your notepads out. Watch I'm this you. two, three, four times back, man. This is fire, man. What? So I want to ask a question. This is going to be a left, right? A mm -hmm. left, right? So not to say that uh, any category of skill is lacking, mm -hmm. but if you had to say, a lot of times videographers, producers, or just any creative, we're, we are our biggest critic. We're our mm -hmm. own big, sure. biggest critic. For sure. So if you had to say... What is Travis Bravo's weakness? Even if that weakness is uh, better than most people's strengths, right? What is something that you look at and say, "Okay, I gotta, I gotta tighten up, or I gotta do this"? I hate not being home. Not being home. I hate being not not being home. And okay, even baby, mm -hmm. no, that's a part of the reason why I'm in the city now. Baby, yeah. no, everybody know. I just being gone is cool, but I like to go pull up on my mama. Mm -hmm. I like to go see a little. Shorty, yeah, you know, I like to pop in, see what's going on at Cloud. Facts. Right. So, I if I had to critique myself, I would say get out of the, always wanting to be in Charlotte because mm. I, I love Charlotte. I'm not even born here, but I grew up here. I love Charlotte. I right. want to see y'all win. I want to see Archie win. I want to see Trap win. That's I want to see up. all my dogs win. So I'd rather be here, mm. LA. Cool. If we in LA, that was we already popping. Right, Facts. right, Facts. we Facts. already popping. I can yeah. stay in the city and help. Yep. I heard y'all had J Money. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, J1. Yeah, bro. Every time I Boy, hear, it, every time I, I just heard it. Uh, we threw a uh, Monday mimosa part. Anytime I hear it, I'm tagging dog. Mm-hmm. And he just hit me, said we need to get back home. But yeah, dog I mean that's hard. we always say that's what this podcast was predicated on, bro. Because everybody always jump, try to make that Atlanta jump, or try to make that LA jump. Like, bro, start here because it's. I mean, this uh, this market is not as saturated as people think, especially podcasting. Absolutely, we not. good. Especially, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, gang. I tell I dancers, I know dancers who like I'm going to Atlanta to turn up. And I'll be trying to say, yeah. stay in Char- Charlotte. Got a lot that's still coming. Right, Facts. Charlotte's biggest moment ain't even happened yet. That's Facts. that's so a you want to be a part of that, right? Don't want to run to Miami, mm. Houston, yeah. uh, oh. L.A., Miami. Mm. You could in Charlotte. I love it because Charlotte is is big enough. Yep. That other cities know you, mm. but it's small enough that if you jumping in the city, mm. everybody gonna know who you are. Facts. Who who said oh, 20, 20 said that man yeah, If you're in yeah. the city You're doing quality work Your name gonna ring bell It's gonna ring bell around Charlotte's it's just that around. right size yep. Facts. That if you You got something That niggas like You got mm-hmm. motion Right They gonna yeah. run to it And it's big enough That Atlanta know who Charlotte is Yeah, like, Miami Facts. know Facts. who Charlotte Facts. is right. Feel me that's, That's a good point, bro. That's Jeez, a good man. point. You've been on point. This this man done done more research <laughs> than we might have. Man, man, man. brought us. He, he know he know we be. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's that yeah, Casamigo. Yeah, that's the Casamigo talking. That dog on that shit though. But not for real. That's that's a good point, man. And I'm I'm born and raised here, so I obviously I advocate for Charlotte. Mm-hmm. But I see it because I went to school in South Carolina, and everybody they birthdays they want to come to Charlotte. You know, everybody mm-hmm. want to. My dad teaches Livingstone. They are trying to get out there. Oh, we want to go to Charlotte for this out of Salisbury. But I'm like, we like you said, even if you're in Salisbury, you're close enough to make that move to Charlotte mm-hmm. and get some. You can if you're doing photography, video, you can come here and shoot. It's always something going on downtown. Taste of Charlotte was just going on. Uh, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's always do rag fest. You know Durag what I'm saying? It's always something going on in Charlotte. Shit, you can R&B shoot Wednesday is consistent. R&B Wednesday. You can Imperial shoot some top Sunday. I don't know if you want me saying this, but Wavy just moved to Charlotte. Where? As, as much as I oh, know, wow. when I met who, when I learned who Wavy was. He wasn't a Charlotte photographer. He lived in like Rock Hill or South Carolina. I don't know where it's. Yeah. Somewhere in South Carolina. Yeah. Right. But the same thing you're saying. That Close you, enough to make that move. You got some motion, right? You could work yep. it and it work Charlotte and it work Atlanta. And, and then, it work yeah. Houston. Right. And you gone. Right. That's what I, I kind of like about it. Um, You know how I said we, there's classes of Charlotte. I mean, you, you know how mm-hmm. you say you came up with Baby and Trap. Mm-hmm. That's that class. I think it was 2015, mm-hmm. 14. Right, mm-hmm. That yeah. class, that class of, you know, Charlotte people to rise up and mm-hmm. get their name. And I said, well, we're class 2023 Charlotte. Yeah. We've been here, but that's yeah. class 2023 Charlotte. You know yeah. what I'm saying? On yeah. well, top of y'all class, by the way. So on top t- of the class. Ah, what's it called? Class, Summa Cum Laude? What is it? When you top of the class? Summa Cum Laude or Magna Cum Laude? One of them. I think it's Magna. I think okay. we mad no cool Okay, guys. so one of those, one of those, man. So uh, top of the class. When I watch people and people talk about Atlanta, not necessarily 2017 or right now Atlanta, but it'd be back in like 2004, and Jeezy would be like, "Oh, we was linking mm. up with this person," and Gucci be like, "Oh, this person, that person." Right. Ti plugged us in, and they just talk about how like over the years it's changed and right. they see seasons come and go, and they can talk about what class they ain't. Oh, I've been seeing little baby. He was back in him. Oh yeah. How yeah. Do all those stories intertwine because they really know each other. Right. That's how I be feeling about Charlotte and how good the mm. city is, man. Because this is a lot of times while we touching base with people who've been here doing this, like Milan, a different class, yeah, Charlotte, yeah. and it's like we get to we get to be a part of that. History, so in that in that that's five facts. that ten years, we can look back and be like, oh no, nah, no, nah, that's this was happening then. We linked up with yeah, them and they did this, and facts. now they here. That's so facts. that's why I, I love Charlotte in terms of what we're building, North Carolina, South Carolina, as far mm-hmm. as what we're building and how mm-hmm. we can contribute, man. Yeah, uh, I, I want to ask this too because I, I always forget to ask our guests, man. Mm-hmm. You see what we got going on? You see what we're doing? Who do you think we should have on next? Mm, that's a good question. In the city, um. Not North Carolina, South North Carolina, Carolina, South Carolina. North Carolina, South Carolina. Who should we have on next? We got a couple in mind. Got a long we list. Got your expertise. Um, so drop them. Drop them. Go ahead. Drop them. I wouldn't be who I am without Mike Man. Mike Man. Yeah, that's that. We, we've been talked about that. That's coming. I wouldn't be who I am without Mike Man. Oh, uh, you dog. already got some big dogs. Um, if I had to ask somebody else, I said we mm. need Sporty. Is one. Sport, sport yeah, sport, sport and Charlotte he, he was, name. Charlotte, Charlotte was out. Yeah, sport was out when I was started. Definitely. Um, y'all, y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all got a good ear to it. <laughs> yeah. If I had to add, to yeah, Mike Man, Mike Man, maybe sure. uh, right. uh, Keefy them. I don't okay. know if y'all know Keefy at Cloud. Keefy really one of them bosses in the city. For okay. real. Keefy, I would have yeah, Keefy and Mike. Yeah, 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 Keefy and Mike. We got to yeah. Keefy. Uh, when I saw this taking pictures with Mario, mm-hmm. they had me hired at Onyx. Mm. And to be honest, Keefy was working there, and 
they put my pictures on the TVs. Yeah. Mm. And as a young creative, that shit meant the world, the world. to me. Bro. That's what's up. Like to be to see some people who really like support oh, your work. Support what you got going on. So Same yeah, it. Keefe, Mario, um, I don't know. If you give me a second, I can make a list for y'all. Yeah, yeah, we will. But y'all do it good. I've already watched a lot of y'all. Y'all got some people in the city who really have emotion. Yeah, right. and it's only a group of niggas in the city who really have emotion. Mm-hmm. And we trying to make sure we we tap in. Yeah, we you be know what I'm saying connecting the dots. <laughs> nah, yeah. That's all we do is send send me the profile. Oh, baby, send me this. Send me that. Hey, it's really y'all. Doing. It's really y'all though. So y'all need to start saying who did it be up here. Yeah, it's really y'all. That's to love. Be honest. Sure. Hey, bro, I appreciate that. that that's big love, sure. man. And number one guest so far, man. Hey, bro, Max what, said man? One it's so hospitable, man. <laughs> Showing love. <laughs> Stories fire, nigga. Experience yeah. fire. Nah, we just talking shit. We, we just, just talking shit, man. We just chopping at this point. Man. Casamigos. <sighs> yeah, exactly. We just chopping, man. So, Let's hit him with that dog eat dog, man. Let's hit him with the dog. No, no, that was, we already dived into part oh, of So we dived okay, into a lot. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Quick round. So dog eat dog is basically a game where it's like tournament style, this or that. Um, we might not even do tournament style this or that. So fuck that. This is yeah. this that doggy dog just because we here. So boom. Mm-hmm. Uh, so would you rather shoot the Super Bowl mm. or Coachella? Coachella. Coachella. Yeah, Why? I thought you were gonna say Super Bowl. Yeah, it, it, I, I love football, right? But Super Bowl. There's gonna be a lot of other niggas out there who are not in my field. Mm. They images is gonna get seen before mine. Coachella is more our community. You be thinking, dog. I'm just saying, Coachella is more our community. Right. And I got a better foot in that. Right. So I think I got a better chance of you seeing my pictures at Coachella than you seeing my pictures at uh, Super Bowl. That's fine. Okay. So, pictures or video? This week is pictures. Next week it might be video. All right. Okay. This week is pictures. Um, Laptop or uh, desktop? I just got it. I just invested all my little money on in a gaming PC. I'll what? never go and back like, to laptop. What? I'll never go back to Mac. Wow. I'll never go back. I will never go back to Mac. You editing, on the, you editing on the PC right now? I'm editing on a gaming PC. A PC built for like like a crazy graphic card. Like I'm like wow. RP. Yeah, I'm never going back to. I'm never going Wait, back. So what is, explain that. Why not? Uh, okay, so a PC, you could build that to do just what you need. And it'd be so much stronger mm. than like a Mac. A Mac is just it's the name brand. It's like Apple. It's the name yeah, brand. Let's right. be honest. Galaxy make a better phone, but everybody wanted Apple because it's the yeah, name. Because the yeah. name. It's the brand. same with PC. I could build a better PC yeah. that will blow a Mac out the water for half the price. Mm, will wow. blow it out the water. That's crazy. I'll never go back to Mac. And like I'll you said, it is made for gaming. If you think about gaming, it's sort of similar to editing, editing and absolutely. stuff like that. It's color similar, grading, right? Color this grading. ain't really made. It I mean, it power. does it, but it don't. It's not made. Don't for I, that. Got a, I got a Mac in the crib, right? But but I don't edit on that motherfucker the, no more. The issue is, this is made for. I think this is like a. I call it a communication brand. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. what Steve? What I don't even know if it's Steve Jobs or who made this. Got of this idea. As far as the green bubbles, as far as uh, FaceTime and shit, mm. they have made it so Mac is this prestigious little island that has grown up to be an entire continent to yeah. where if you don't have this shit, it's hard, it's hard to, to communicate, man. Right, right. It's hard to send files, bro. I got an old Google Chrome yeah. computer. You can't fucking send shit you on there, bro. You, know you know can't airdrop shit. Come on, shit. B. Yeah. Can't share the Wi-Fi. I got to type this X, Y, L, L, Z, B. Come on, man. So they just made it easier to communicate. The PC yeah. is for show, sure not as, like you said, it, the, the Mac is... Is, is smoother, but if you want to really produce something, uh, make some shit. That PC gonna be stronger than your Mac. I promise you. Nah, I believe yeah, that. I promise, I believe for half that the shit. money, too, we're gonna have to man. think about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. for half the money. I, okay, I'm talking to you. When yeah, we gotta, on. we gotta, we gotta, look, into, we gotta hey, look into that. Hey, I put. Hey, my daddy make gaming PCs too. He built mine. Can he get? You. Can he get that screen? That <laughs> nigga. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you my dog. My, I'm gonna show you my dog T set up, man. Cause that he he's like a he's one of them niggas who don't need it. He yeah. don't need the shit. I mm-hmm. I need the shit. He don't need the shit. Yeah. So my everything I bought here is because I know exactly what I want to shoot, how I want to shoot it, and I buy based off that. Mm-hmm. He's a nigga that just he watches the tech YouTubers, mm-hmm. their shit, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna buy that shit. So when you see his setup, that's mm-hmm. like, it's like that. Yeah. I want a quarter of that setup. At the, so we gonna we gonna we gonna jump. We got to chop that. about that. Yeah, we gonna chop. You. This nerd. This, get I mean, a PC though. Don't a whole nerd fuck a Mac. Podcast. Get fuck a Mac. Get a PC. <laughs> get it. This the nerd podcast. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> get a PC. Don't get a Mac. <laughs> so and it. what's what's uh in terms of 2023 right now we're in June man. By December, what are some of your 2023 goals? What's something that you you will feel like if Bravo doesn't accomplish by 2023, I may or may not have failed. I'm trying to turn somebody else up. 
Mm. Um, that's my goal right now. I was I was with Baby. I was with the Panthers. I was the first rapper to ever call me was Money Bag Yo. Way forever. So I've Damn. helped turn niggas up. That's like I said. That's my goal. That's so right goal. now, like I said, I'm locked in with Archie. I might be locked in with somebody else in a month. Mm-hmm. That's my biggest thing. I'm trying to turn somebody else in the city up. And that's hard because you know why, bro? Because the reason I resonate with that is because my father is a uh, the band director at uh, Livingstone College. So his big thing was always, do I want to go to a university that's already established, or do I want to go to one and build it? Mm. You seem like you in that. You a builder. Build you know what I'm saying? City. Like you want to foe. That's I what, love the flow. Yeah. I got four times tattooed on my face. I Word. love the flow. And I, I love Sean. You don't hear many people saying, I want to get with somebody who don't got nothing right now. I want to build that nigga into something. And mm-hmm. you already got proof of concept that you can. So if somebody don't believe you, like, shit, I done did, babe. I did this. They got to see, you know what I'm saying, your work speaks for itself as far as what you can do as far as building somebody. Somebody already got the clout. Like, what? Well, I'm, I'm just coming in adding a little on. That's cool. Adding a little that's sauce. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. But you, I see you more as like the development stage. You like to be I'd there I'd rather see what we finish. started, right, yeah. and where we finished. That's what I'm into. That's, that's commendable, yeah. That's all right. That's, that's fire. That's all right. The, the last one is a little bit of a selfish question, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys want to add... So podcasting, obviously you you've seen you've seen our stuff, you've seen a couple other you know podcast backgrounds. Uh, tell us what is your, how can I phrase this? What is your podcast forte or etiquette? Like if you say you if you had to shoot one tomorrow, we giving you you know not not the red, we giving you the Atari for the pod. <laughs> give give us your don't build. give me the Atari, give me the Sony. I'm uh, so, okay, I'll Sony. What would Sony. what would you do? Like give us. How many cams? Give us the lenses. What would you What would you rock with? How many lights? Give us the whole crew. Direct. Because a lot of people don't know what's going on on the yeah. other right, side of this. Y'all got a lot right. going on over here. So for yeah. y'all who don't just look through the camera. Shh, we got one YouTube. camera. We got one That's camera. And it's they a are Canon. lying. It's a they mark. are, they it's are a, lying. It's don't a Canon lie Mark to you. II. <laughs> don't let them lie to you. Nah, I like what y'all got going on. I would say, because you know, I shot Darren podcast for a little mm-hmm. while. Mm-hmm. Y'all got a good number of cameras. Y'all got lights. Like I told Sterling, just keep going. That's keep y'all. Going. That's y'all biggest. I promise you. Listen, right, keep going. listen. Are y'all? Is this my camera? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. your camera. That's you. Let's go. <laughs> when you make the cut, I'm zoom in on it. Hey. If if they keep going, they will be the biggest thing in North or South Carolina. I promise you. Because <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all got already, got, y'all already cool. got a good lighting setup. I'm gonna talk from LA perspective. Okay. Y'all got, y'all got good lighting setup. You got multiple cameras. You need a primary. You need a wide. Y'all need individuals. Y'all got all of that. Y'all already know how to work the board. Right. And y'all know who to grab. Mm. What else What else y'all need? What y'all need? Some strippers? Because I know some <laughs> hoes. Like, <laughs> what y'all need? Like, we got look into the talk. source. Everything hey, we good. Exactly, exactly. Y'all got assistance? <laughs> listen, and they had, listen, they had an apple juice for me. They asked me what I wanted when I came here. They had an apple juice ready oh, for man. me. If you know me, you know I love apple juice. I know. We appreciate. I love it here. We, we, hey, we gonna have to rap on that. Yeah, we gonna have to rap on that, man. But Damn, look, but, look, yeah, go ahead, man, bro. We could do this all night. Uh, we could, we could sit here and chop. But like we said, you're a friend of the show now, bro. So I don't care if we not shooting you. Come on, kick it with us, bro. Just be a vibe. You good energy, bro. Just come kick it with the people that we in here with. Whatever you got going, if you got a project coming, I told. So this one, I, I, I'm gonna say it on camera because I want you to do this. I want you to go back to Butler, bro, and <laughs> tell one. them. That you an esteemed alumni, tell them who you shot with and like do a class, do a seminar, do a, a assembly or something. Cause people know those videos. Yeah. Those kids will look at you, bro, and they'd be like, wow, this is who shot this. And even if it's a one day thing, you could go back and just get them some free game, mm-hmm. do a camera class, do some type of like free photo shoots, headshots. You think they would let me? Yeah. So? And if you need the CMS plug, I got you. I'm, with, I'm. I got. We, we talked about camera. I'll get to that. But I, just on some like giving back to Charlotte. We trying to figure out what we gonna do for the community. We gonna do some type of. I don't know yet. We ain't even figured oh, it out. Look at Mackenzie. Oh, we gonna get too shit. much game. Right. Yeah. Oh, look, we gonna, but, but but what you saying? Like with us being so big in the community, we can't be big. And no limit was big on this. We can't be mm-hmm. big without giving back to the community. Fact. I just saw he did. They did today is National Hot Dog Day. He got a hot dog thing going on. Free hot dogs right. for the community. Yeah. Shit like that resonate with me. I'm like, that's what we got to do. And we. We we do that concert mm-hmm. and gas house too. I thought you know what I'm saying. Yeah, y'all, us being cues. Y'all cues. Yeah, sir. Like y'all y'all play. Cue dog. Yeah. No, oh, okay. yeah, cues. Oh, like, oh, 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 shit. Oh, oh, hey, oh, cut oh, the video. Oh, cut oh, the video. Oh, 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 we good. Cut, I know who I was in here with. For sure. Respect. We all cues. Me, everybody was just in. All the niggas in here was just cues. So saying that to say, our biggest thing is community. I'm gonna go back to all our biggest thing is community service though. So we gotta find something. But I want you. I'm gonna help you out because I feel like we can do that. We can get in the city. Go to some CMS. 
plan something because school about to start back up, so we can figure out something. But you sure? I got some on this show in my background. They might not fuck with, but we can talk. We can about we can figure it out. We'll but we're gonna work out. around we'll, it. We'll you know. But it. regardless, though, the the if you ask kids what they want to do nowadays, yeah, they are gonna say shit that you. They gonna say like man, YouTuber, man, videos, man, kids videos, kids TikTokers, TikTokers, they TikTokers they TikTokers, YouTubers, videos. They need, but, the, but they need to get the angles to get the lighting. They need that shit, and they would be interested more in this. What you talking about? Then they math teacher. I promise you. You talking about angles? Get the lighting. You need to do it from this angle. Oh shit, that's what I'm trying to do for this video. You know what I'm saying? I be teaching them music and shit. I have them want to be producers, singers, artists, and of course, you know what I'm saying like. Everybody won't make it in that field. Some people will choose other things, but mm -hmm. at least, like, I went to creative arts elementary school, so I learned everything in elementary art, drama, dance, all that stuff. And I went to music, and then that led to me getting a music scholarship for college. That led to me starting video and videography. That led to us creating this podcast. So, you know, like, just giving them that little plant seed will lead them in some other things. And who better nice. to do it? And you got game, bro. You got game that, that they need. So. So we'll figure something out. We'll work it out. But I was saying all talk. that to say, talk. friend of the show, whenever you want to come back, bro, kick it. We appreciate hey, I, I, you. I, I like, I love what y'all doing. Hunt it, bro. It's good I'm, love. I'm glad y'all had me here. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Whatever y'all want me back, I'm here. Say that. Say, say that. Say that. We gonna, we gonna, hey, we'll make that call. Hey, hey. <laughs> that call will come up. Be like, hey, bro. It might be outside the club. Like, yo, me and Brill outside, bro. We need to get the back door. Hey, yo, Archie. Yo, I got to go outside real quick. Yeah. Say that. Say that. Shit, we wrote it, man, man. Bravo. Like he said, you're a friend of the show. Whenever you got something to promote, make sure you come back, man. Damn, viewers, listeners, man, please watch this episode yes, back sir. twice, three times, four times. Shit, we ran it back twice. We ran the episode back twice. twice. So y'all need three times. six times at minimum. <laughs> Tap so, the fuck in, man. So, man, once again, man, shout out uh, birthdays that just passed, man. Shout out Kayla J. Shout out Shout Pink, out the fathers. Man. Shout out the fathers, man. Papa Bravo, man. Fathers are yeah, so shout important. Shout out to my daddy. Yeah, yeah man. man. Charlotte would look totally different without Papa Bravo, Bravo man. <laughs> <laughs> totally different. Totally different, bro. Panthers wouldn't have had name. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh, man. But yeah, man. This yeah. With it. Shout out Durag Fest, too, shout man. Shout out Durag Fest. Y'all came man. out, fuck with me. Appreciate y'all. Shout out Lisa. Shout out Wesley. Mm -hmm. It's up, man. That's that's something for the city, too. Ain't that's nobody else doing saying. Durag Fest. Ain't nobody else. That's right here in the city. Hell yeah. Wait, y'all going this week? Ain't that this week? Saturday. 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 Yeah, yeah. Saturday. I keep getting a loop with I'll get your number. We'll, we'll tap in and get sure. do that. Hell yeah, man. But appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all show any engagement. Like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Make sure you follow, download this episode. If you're listening to me, you can hear my voice, man. But that's been all. I think that's a good. We're gonna wrap on that, man. It's good, man. Appreciate y'all for listening, man. It's the Ben episode of the podcast. Mm. Got the skittles in my mouth. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm professional. <laughs> Thank you oh, for skittles. listening. The oh, skittles. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Yeah, we need Sponsor that. these skittles. boys. Sponsor, Sponsor them. Skittles. We do this. Yeah. Sponsor <clears throat> skittles. We need it. Purple bag. Every podcast. Every episode. podcast. We gonna. We gonna. Every podcast. Come on. We gonna get we gonna that tap deal. In. So <clears throat> go ahead, man. Get us out of here, man. Devils in the podcast. That's D A E P I C E N T R E. That's the British way with the R E. In case you didn't know, the UK way. And it's King Brilla, man. Y'all be blessed, man. You dig, and we out. Bravo, approved, man. What we talking about? Let's get it. Well, it's the episode of baby, and you know what it is. Girls like Sterling, King Brilla, none of the kids. Now who they got up on the pod? Gotta watch and see. Pull up a little drink and put on the TV. Uh, uh, uh. It go. And it go. DJ Sterling. What we talking about? No cow. Yes, sir. Ski.